Bruce Hitchens from Highland Reads talking about the Highland Reads moisture control system. With the invention of the synthetic bag, and particularly the zip in the synthetic bag, this gave the opportunity that us pipers, particularly the manufacturers, could produce new systems that could give us a constant dry environment to play our pipes in. Moisture is the enemy. Once your reeds get wet, your chanter reed or your drone reeds get wet, they become unreliable, it changes the tone and we don't get the consistency. So by using the synthetic bags and particularly either synthetic reeds or cane reeds, we can now have moisture systems on the market that take the moisture out. In my opinion, these systems are really incorrectly named and should be called heat exchangers. Moisture is nothing but heat. Your breath is 96 degrees, you blow into the bag. As the hot air from your breath cools down, this is, creates the moisture and this is what creates the moisture within the pipes, particularly in the drone reeds. Because once you get the smaller points where the hot air starts to go through the drone reeds, this is where it starts to condense. You start to get moisture. The warm air then goes up the drones. The drones are colder, particularly if it's plastic drones, or, and then you get more condensation. And this is what then causes problems with the functionality of the reeds. There's several moisture control systems on the market but I was looking to uh, improve on it. One of the things I found, one of the, the disadvantages, as a lot of pipers call it, was all the plumbing. So you have quite a lot of weight in the canister, which is lying in the bottom of the bag, and you had hoses going to the different drones. And to me, this took up a lot of space in the bag, a lot of weight, made it difficult for the cut-ins, cut-outs, but in general did supply warm, uh, sorry, cold, dry air. When I looked at this, I thought the first thing you need to do is actually get rid of the moisture, or i.e. the heat. So, I came along with this idea, which is the moisture system, which sits in the top of the bag, inserted into the drones, and it's not lying down in the bottom of the bag. It's lightweight, and it's very efficient. One way to test a moisture system to make sure it's what you want, it should take your hot air and turn it into cold, dry air. This is what we want. So by blowing through it, you should feel the cold air. If you want to test this, blow it up against some glass or a mirror, and you should not get any haze from your breath, from the warmth or moisture. In my system, I use silicon gel. Now these are granules. And the way that works is the air comes in here, passes through the granules. This is what cools the air down. It's actually the air passing through the granules. But then, because it's silicon gel, the granules then absorb the moisture, and you don't get any moisture slopping around in the bottom of your pipes. The air then comes up and goes through the drones. As I say, there's three of these, one for each drone. There's two ways of fitting them. One is by just camping up the joint there and then sliding it in so it sits like that in the bottom of your pipes or the top of your bag and the bottom of your drones. That's it there. That's one way that you can do it. Or the other way is that you use the flexi joint which you slide on to the bottom of your stock. Once that's in your pipes, you then can insert the cartridge. That sits up there and that gives you flexibility if you put your pipes down so forth. It's not going to fall out and it's sitting on the top of your pipes. There is maybe a little bit of work involved in getting the cups initially placed on your pipes. This generally is easier to pull the stocks out, fit the cups and refit them following the instructions from the bag or if you if the stocks are not pushed all the way through the collars you can slide the cups on. Once this is done the first time you shouldn't have to do that again. When you finish playing you can simply open the zip 
pull these out. But this system is not only the lightest system on the market, it is also the most versatile. It's versatile in many ways because there's more combinations. This system comes with its own valve. This is covered in another video on how to adjust the valves, but it's a screw valve which is far more efficient and reliable than the, the elasticated valves. So, what I actually have in my own pipes is I play without the valves. I don't play in a pipe band. I can cut my pipes out. I'm not really worried about that. So I play when I use the moisture system without valves. Without the valves, there's no real restriction or change of tonal quality to your pipes. So that's the system there. If I want to, I can simply place the valve in. If I was to play with a band, I've got the valves there. Or if it's a fairly dry climate you're in and you don't want the moisture system, you don't need it because it's so dry, you've still got the valves and you could just have the valve. So you have a moisture system plus valves all wrapped into the one system.